on that Ankyo receiver um yeah so I thought it worked fine until I got no sound and I found out that it's a broken HDMI board now I've seen that Ankyo will repair it free one time so hopefully mine will be certified and I can repair it for free and that would be awesome so let's try it I'm just gonna show you a, a, a quick fix for this that but doesn't doesn't last very long so Take a halogen light and place it on top of the DTS chip, which looks something like that. Now, what this does, <laughs> I'm not totally sure, the, the chip in here overheats very easily. As you can tell, it doesn't have a heat sink. So, kind of stupid design by IQ. But, the rest of this receiver is very, very good. So I can't blame them too much. But, what that chip, whoops, what that chip does right there, is that feeds the um, power, I mean, it's a, it's a little preamp chip for the speakers, so that needs to be repaired. Now, we should get nothing yet. Yeah, you might get something. Nope, we got nothing yet. So you can see the speaker indicators are off. So I'll turn it back off and keep pounding that chip with the heat. It usually takes around a minute or so um, for it to start working. Sometimes it takes less, depending if you were using the receiver recently. Sometimes it takes more if your receiver is like cold. Let's try now. Nope, nothing yet. <laughs> I know it's kind of boring one. Anyway, while, while we're doing that, let's take a look, up, a look at some of the other chips on this board. So you can focus on it. There's another one right there. Here's another one right here. This one is an ST chip. There's more. Those almost look like RAM chips right there. Hmm. Well, this whole. Let's try it now. Let's see if it works. Lighting for it. There we go. As you can see, that fixes it. This is very temporary, though. You only like keep the light on it. I'm not sure why this fixes it, but it does. This is such a cool green display. So unique. That fixes it. Kind of crazy. You know, let me hang it over and look at the rest of the parts. Of this Those down there are Nichicon Gold audio gaps. If you look down here. Find some more tabs so, but This is a very packed receiver, especially for how big it is. Each channel has its own little circuit board, and that's really neat. You have a uh, Onkyo high current power supply, two NIDAC fans, two to turn on when it gets really, really hot. And they're actually temperature controlled. I didn't see. See right there, here's a good example of an Ichikan capacitor. Ooh, that's very unfocused. Focus, you stupid camera. Can you read that? 
probably not. There it goes. That chip's still very, very hot, but you should probably warm it back up after a while. Keep it running well. Stupid DTS chip. It's very, very tiny. Even though right there it looks very, very big, it's very, very tiny little chip. There's a regular Phillips halogen light bulb. And there's the CPU chip, so. There you have it. This is the end of yeah. my show. Can't fool. This is the end I know. Yeah.